What's up Dragon Nation? I'm Richard with Dragon Nation Gaming. Welcome back to Space Engineers. Today we're going to be working on a starter base. Uh, just something really small just to get us started so we can go on to bigger and better things. Stay tuned. Alright everybody, welcome back to Space Engineers. I know people have been waiting for me to put out another episode, but I, I've been so busy and I had so many uh, pre-recorded episodes of Satisfactory that I haven't been able to put one out. Uh, but now I'm back in Space Engineers and we have... Man, we just started. We have a lot of work ahead of us. I can't even remember what I did in the last episode. It was the first episode, right? Yeah, there's a few things that I need to go over. Uh, the main thing I need to go over is the wind turbines. I kind of forgot how the game works. And I kind of messed up on reading the power. Let's go ahead and go into this battery right here. Now, the wind turbine actually says the max output is 373. And our current output is that same amount. I don't know why. Oh, because we're charging the batteries. Let's see. Uh, fully recharged in six hours. Holy shit, six hours? Really? But that's why they're putting out all that power is because we're recharging the batteries. And last episode, I kind of forgot how all that works in the Space Engineers, and I kind of misread it. It's been a while, guys. Give me, give me a little bit of leeway. Just a little bit. But yeah, a couple things. Uh, people in the comments have been really helpful. They've been telling me that there is no longer uranium on the planet. Which sucks. That <laughs> really, really does suck. But but it's okay. I mean, I think I actually kind of like that because it kind of forces you to use other tools like the wind turbines. And at some point, let's see if I could actually find it. Oh, there it is. Hydrogen engine. I definitely want to try that thing out, see how much power it gives. Uh, but yeah, what we need to do today is we need to get started on a... A temporary base uh, basically it's just going to be one refinery one assembler and it's going to have a sorting system that will sort out ores ingots and components now those of you who have been with my channel for a while know exactly what I'm about to build but it's been a while since I've built it so we're gonna have to figure this out I need to find I think we'll make that the front of the base so I need the access I think right like that Okay, why did it click twice? No idea. Let's go ahead and fly it around. I do also have... Let me go into my inventory. Uh, we do have a, a bunch of hydrogen bottles, but this is not going to last us for very long. And as you can see, I no longer have the drop pod. Yeah, I kind of got rid of it. Uh, so, once we run out of hydrogen, unless I get this base built, we're done. So, the refinery is set up. We're going to go ahead and try to get this... Uh, built really quick. Hopefully I can. So basically all the platform is is a 4 by 6. You put the refinery right in the middle. You want to make sure that there's an access point back here and an access point right here on the side. And you'll see why I do it like that. But let's go ahead and try to get this guy welded up. I'm not going to have the resources. I went ahead and put a storage box over here. Because I knew I'd need that sucker. And I do know we're going to need a lot of steel plates for that refinery. Alright, so next thing we need is construction large motor grid computer. Uh, <laughs> I forget already. Uh, construction, I don't think I need that many. 
Uh, shit. I forgot what I needed. Ah, I suck. Alright, let's just go ahead and get a few grids. I think we needed large steel tubes as well. Uh, computers. And I guess we'll have to come back. Oh, motors. That's what it was. Alright, motors, come here. Alright, there we go. There's a refinery. Probably uh, the most cost costly item that we have to build today. So, again, we have the access point right here in the front. This is where we're going to put a storage container. This is where the ore is going to go in. Now, in order to pull out the ingots that are made... What the hell? Right now, really, while I'm recording, I get a virus and threat protection warning. God damn it. Uh, but yeah, this access point will actually pull the ingots from the refinery to another storage container. Or, what is... God damn it, what do they call it in this game again? I've been playing other games. Um, let's see. Cargo container. My bad. We're going to need some of those. So what I'm going to need is... Let me just go ahead and back off so you guys, you guys can see. Oh yeah, interior plate. Uh, interior plate, where are you? There you are. Is that all? Oh, let's get rid of the grids. We're not, I don't think we'll need too many of those. Alright, oh, god damn it. Give me up! Get up, you fat little fucker. Alright, there we go. So we're gonna put a cargo container right at that access point. Then we're gonna put another one in this corner. And then we're gonna have another one right here. Alright, let's fly. Let's screw this. Let's just fly. We run out of hydrogen, oh well. Alright, next thing we're going to need is we'll go to our secondary toolbar. And I need a conveyor junction right here on this corner. Now, that conveyor junction is going to be the main hub of the entire system. Everything will be unloaded. Yeah, unloaded into that conveyor and then sorters will tell it which way to go. So what we need is we're going to need a sorter... Is that a sorter? No, that's not a sorter. That's a sorter. We need this sorter to point that way, and that's going to be pulling ore and ingots through the refinery. Now, once the refinery turns all that ore into ingots, we're going to need to pull it towards this storage container, or cargo container, from that access point. And then right here, we are going to have an assembler, and I need to make sure that I point the access points in the right way. So it needs to be connected to that cargo container and not that access point right there. So right like that. Then I need components to be pulled out of that assembler. Oh, no, wrong way. Okay, would you just, you know what? Screw it, just turn. Thank you. All right, so that sorter will pull all the components into this cargo container. Now the problem that we're going to have is we won't be able to pull components through that sorter. So we're actually going to pull it this way. Now the reason I do that is because sorters can only transfer a certain amount of items at a time. And at some point stuff will become backed up. That's why I go ahead and make a secondary for components. Now we need our conveyors. and back here and then I need to get all this stuff welded up which is going to take me a minute but once we get that done I'll go ahead and show you guys how to set up the sorters real quick uh, so yeah let me go ahead and get this done alright now that we got everything welded it's time to set up the sorters which is probably the f most fun thing to do in this entire process and if you don't know I'm being sarcastic I oh this shit gets irritating after a while uh, but I'm not gonna worry about naming things I'll name everything on my own what we need to do is this sorter right here uh, will actually pull ingots and ore from the conveyor junction 
This, there will be a connector right on top where a, dock, a ship will be able to dock up and it will pull everything out of it. What we need is ore and ingots. So let's go ahead and add those real quick and then we'll go ahead and put it whitelist. Make sure we do that and then drain all. So all the ores and the ingots will be pulled through the refinery. The refinery will process them and then we need the ingots to be pulled through this one. So let's go ahead and go whitelist ingot or ingots. I don't know. People pronounce it weird kind sort of sometimes. Sometimes people think I pronounce it weird. And then drain all. Now that we got that one, we need to do this one, which will be... Hey, where's the access? I think I put it on top. Yeah, I did. Uh, this one is actually going to have a few more things. We're going to need ammo, components, and hand tools. Uh, we also need it to pull hydrogen bottles and ice, and then oxygen bottles. There we go. I think that's everything. And then, uh, oh yeah, make sure you're whitelist. We don't want to forget that. There we go. That one's ready. And now this order over here will be the same thing. Where, ah shit, it's on the top. Alright, so we need to make this one oxygen bottle, hydrogen bottle, and ice. Oops, I went too far. And then ammo components and hand tools. Alright, so now that is all ready. All we need to do is bring everything from that cargo container over to here. I'll do that on my own. I'm not going to put you guys through that shit. Alright, but what we need now is we need a connector. There we go. And let's go ahead and fly so we can actually see what the hell we're doing. So, connector there, and there will be another connector here. Now, this connector will be to empty out any ships that we have docked up. This one will be to fill up any ships that we have docked. Uh, let's go ahead and weld that up real quick. Oh, we need still plate. Alright, construction. Damn it. Uh, I keep forgetting how how this game is. I mean, it's been so long since I've played, I keep forgetting that shit like this does take a while because of the resources and how much you can hold. Alright, now that we have the production system up and running, right? I think so. Yeah, the only thing we have to do to this system is fill it with well, resources and tell the assembler what to build and that's it well what we need now is we need stuff for survival we're gonna need hydrogen and we also need a spawn point so I went ahead and got some silver and made up some medical kits I think they're called did I make some hopefully I did please say I did yes I did medical components there we go so what I need to do is, since all the ice is going to be going to this cargo container right here, I need to connect the hydrogen generator, H2O2 generator. I don't know what they call it now. They keep changing it. But I need to connect it to that cargo container. The easiest way to do that is to get rid of these three blocks. Then we go ahead and go to our secondary toolbar, put down a conveyor junction, and then we can go ahead and put, let's see, what do they call it now? O2H2 generator, there we go. And we'll put it down right here. I'm missing components, no I'm not. Now what I also want to do is I want to have access on the top, like right there. So that's exactly how I want it. Now let's go ahead and weld this up. Once I get large steel tubes. Jesus. Come on. Close. Thank you. So 
conveyor junction and the oxygen generator. I'm still used to calling it an oxygen generator. All right, now what we need to do is we need to connect up a medical room. Now the way we're gonna do that is very simple. We're gonna just go ahead and add another conveyor junction right here. Now the cool thing about the medical room is it does have access, inventory access from the bottom and the top. So this should be fine. What we need to do is, oops, I don't have, let's go ahead and get a block. Cause we need a platform. Let's go ahead and fly so we can get this stuff welded up real quick. And then comes the fun part, getting the medical room set up. And then we don't have to worry about everything. We'll have a spawn point, we'll have a way of getting hydrogen, oxygen, which we don't need on the planet, but we do need that hydrogen. Alright, now we need the medical room. Let's go ahead and turn that the correct way, and is that right? I think that's right. Yes, it is. Why does it keep click hitting it twice? I don't know. All right, we're gonna need a lot of shit for this one. So we need uh, interior plate. I think we need like 300. Let's get rid of the large steel tubes. Then we need 60 metal grids. Damn. That one takes a lot, actually. And then we need 15 medical components. See if I can carry all of them. No, I can't. I have to get rid of some more weight. There we go. Is that full? No, it can't be. There we go. All right, so now we have our production facility. We have a medical room for respawning. We can also get some hydrogen from it as well because it is connected, get up there, by the conveyor junction and the O2 generator. But we need ice. Let's go ahead and grab some of that. And that's why I'm gonna have an access point at the top so I can just come over here and put it in by hand if I need to. And then we just come over to the medical room. Let's get rid of the welder. And go ahead and fill up our oxygen and hydrogen. And there we go. Now I could also put the hydrogen bottles in that access point as well. That's the most important part. All right, next thing we're gonna need is at some point I do wanna go ahead, uh, probably next episode, uh, we're gonna build ourselves a miner. So I kinda need a little bit of a platform uh, I'm trying to remember how... Oh, yeah, I remember. I got it. So, what we need is steel plates. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, I keep running out of everything. There we go. Now, it doesn't really matter how big this is. You just need to leave yourself a little bit of room. I'm the type of builder where I just prefer everything to be as compact as possible. So, I think maybe five from the medical room should be enough. I mean, we're not building a really big ship. At some point, we will build a bigger ship to get into space, but right now, this will work. Next thing I need to do is I need a point because we're going to be building a small ship small with small ship blocks. So, I need to find... Oh, is that six? Yeah, that is six wide. I forgot about that. Uh, we'll try to find the center as best we can. Go ahead and take that block out. Now, the easiest way to build a small ship, small block ship on a large grid is rotors. Now, it used to be the only way we could actually build ships was with uh, landing gear. There actually used to be, when we go into G, there used to be a selection over here to start a new ship. But they've actually gotten rid of that a long time ago, actually. Uh, so let me go ahead and get all this welded up, and then we'll go to our next step. All right, now that that's done, I also did a little bit of coloring. I don't, it doesn't really matter. 
Uh, but yeah, just changing the colors just a little bit. Uh, probably at some point I will have to go over how to do painting. I don't know. I'll have to make a... At some point I would like to get into tutorial videos anyway, so I'll do that at some point. But what we want to do is we want to be able to build small ships. Now, people have been asking me to do wheeled vehicles, and I think I... Just to test it out, see how they're running, I think I might do that. But what we want to do is get rid of the head of the rotor and come on give me access keep forgetting the goddamn controls alright now rotor we'll select the rotor and then we'll go ahead and where is it oh there it is add small head then we'll go ahead and weld uh, that guy up and now we can actually build small ships off of that rotor which is really cool that they added that that's one of the biggest deals that they've added in a long time. Uh, let's go ahead and build blocks up. And this will give us room for building. So one thing I do want to try is, let's get rid of the block, is they do have a new cockpit. Cockpit blast, there it is. Uh, the industrial cockpit. I want to check this out real quick and see what it looks like. You know what? Let's go ahead and build it. So I can actually check it out. I want to see where the access points are for the damn thing. Ah, I need other materials. What do I need? Construction grid, motor display computer, and glass, and small steel tubes. Just about everything. Damn, that takes a lot to build. Alright, so we needed small steel tube, display, glass. Oh, we have... Way too many steel plates in there. Let's get rid of a couple of those. Then we needed grids. I uh, can't remember. Oh, small steel tube we already have. Let's see what else. Uh, construction, motor, and computer. So, construction, motor, computer. We should have everything that we need. I don't know. I kind of... Man, why can we not jump? Didn't we used to be able to jump a little bit higher than this? Actually, it's not... It's not half bad. I wonder... Now, I do have an atmospheric miner I used to build. I wonder if I could change the cockpit to this one. Oh, and it looks like we have displays in there. We'll get in there in a second. I want to check out... Alright, so we have two access points in the back, but they're kind of up a little bit. And there's a small one on top. Yeah, I think we could... I might have to change things up a little bit, but I think this cockpit will actually work. Uh, let's go ahead and get inside and check it out. I don't know. It's not half bad. I do kind of like the displays. Uh, there are mods out there. Ooh. Does it actually give us our speed and everything? Oh, it's giving us gravity. Is it going to give us our speed now, too? That would be cool. Do we still have it on the right? Where did our speed used to be? I can't even remember. Damn, it's been so long since I played. We'll have to see once we get the ship actually finished. Uh, but yeah. It's cool that we have those displays and we have some glass on top and we have a pretty good view. Ooh, what's that on the left? Some sort of bottle, I can't even tell. There's another one on the right. But yeah, it, I mean, it's not a half bad cockpit. It is kind of tight, but it looks kind of cool. I don't know. I think I'll do that. I'll go ahead and change it. Uh, change my ship, my little uh, miner, atmospheric miner, to this cockpit. And see if we can't get it to work. I just have to remember how to build the damn thing. I think I can remember. But I think we'll uh, we'll do that in the next episode. So here's our base. Uh, pretty much that's it. That's all you really need in order to survive and to start out. Ah, shit. I'm stuck. At some point, we will change the power to the hydrogen generators. Uh, no, hydrogen engine. 
I think it's called. But I definitely want to see how much power those give out. I'm pretty sure that they'll give out more than the wind turbines, but we'll just have to see. Uh, also, at some point we will be getting into space, which is what I'm really looking forward to. I don't know, I think after the miner, we might just go ahead and do that. We'll go ahead and get into space because there's more resources uh, for building big. There's a lot of stuff that I've done in Space Engineers in the past that didn't always work out. I'm kind of wondering how they would work out in the game now that it has been kind of refurbished a little bit. Uh, one of those things, the main things I would like to try out is the space elevator. I would like to try that again and see if I can't get it to work. And I also had a small ship printer that I would also like to try again as well. At some point, we are going to have to get into mods. Uh, I'm going to keep the mod count kind of low, but at some point, we are going to have to get into those and probably scripts as well. But yeah, we'll worry about all that in further episodes. But until then, make sure to like and subscribe, all that good stuff. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.